Purim, another unbelievable connection. Purim, they say, our usually what we think is the holiest day is Yom Kippur. It's real Yom Kippur is only the chav in front of the word Kippur is a, a, a prefix meaning like. Like Purim. Yom Kippur is only like Purim. Purim is the real holy day. But there's an unbelievable connection I heard uh, that, that connects Yom Kippur to Purim. Huh. It's a strange thing, you have to ask the question. Purim, the day of holiday of Purim. Uh, it's named Purim because of the lot that Haman drew in terms of deciding a day when to annihilate the Jewish people. Now, why does it have that name? Why not any other? You know, all the other holidays have names for the great things that happened. You know, Hanukkah is the day that we inaugurated the temple, Passover, that, you know, God passed over the doorways, and a, a great miracle. They're all based on unbelievably positive events, and this seems to be something negative. So the interesting thing is their analogy, very unbelievable analogy between Purim and Yom Kippur. On Yom Kippur, there's also a lot that is drawn. You know what that is? That's these two ex goats that are exactly the same. And the high priest goes and he draws from an urn two tablets. One goat goes for God, that's sacrificed in the temple. Its blood is sprinkled in the Holy of Holies. And the other one goes to this place called Azazel, where they take it off to a far distant place, and he ends up with a seemingly accidental death. Really, somebody shoves him right off a cliff. In any case, he meets his doom in another way. But the idea here is there's a lot drawn. Interesting. Now, Yom, Kippur, Yom Purim is kind of the inverse, the opposite. Here, the interesting thing is where we have Haman and you have Mordechai. Cursed Haman, blessed Mordechai. And you have to get to a point because you have to think about what is a lot? A lot is something where you, your mind only goes to here and you got to go beyond mind. It's going outside the dots because it's like beyond what your logic or your mind can go ahead and dictate who goes where, which goat goes where. So here also is the idea of lots, but it's the inverse. Here you don't have two identical goats like in Yom Kippur. You have one is black and one is white. And this time we have to get into a mode to fuse them together where you can't tell the difference. And what does that mean, not being able to tell the difference between blessed Mordechai and cursed Haman? Which is, in our lives, we have things which are blessed and things which don't seem so blessed. As a matter of fact, they're cursed. But now is the day where you can see, where you won't be able to tell the difference in your own lives this is a blessing, and this is a blessing, and you'll get to the unbelievable level of consciousness where everything that comes from God is for the ultimate good. Happy Purim.